dear students today i am going to discuss regarding severe acute respiratory syndromes severe acute respiratory syndromes is a life threatening communicable viral respiratory illness caused by a new strain of coronavirus called sars associated coronavirus that is sars cov the causative agent is most likely originating from the wild animal the disease was first reported first emerged in november 2002 in guangdong province of china the outbreak of infection had been transmitted primarily via household contacts and healthcare settings regarding the symptoms common symptoms in occurs in patients fever malaise chills headache myalgia dizziness cough sore throat running nose in some cases acute respiratory distress that required ventilator support it is capable of causing deaths in as many as 10% cases regarding the problem statement the earliest case was traced to a healthcare worker in china in 2002 with rapid spread to hong kong singapore vietnam taiwan and toronto as early uh, of august 2003 about 8422 cases were reported to the world health organization from 30 countries with 916 fatalities the incubation period Uh, is generally 2 to 7 days commonly it is 3 to 5 days mode of transmission primary mode of transmission through direct or indirect contact of mucous membrane of eyes nose mouth and respiratory droplets or fomites its net sars virus can survive for for hours on common surface outside the human body up to 4 days in human waste at least it survive for 24 hours on a plastic surface at room temperature and can live for extended periods in the cool the case definition a notifiable case of sars is defined as an individual with live, uh, laboratory confirmation of infection with sars corona virus who either fulfills the clinical case definition of sars or has worked in a laboratory handling live Uh, sars cov or storing clinical specimen infected with sars cov clinical case definition a history of fever one or more symptoms of lower respiratory tract illness that is cough shortness of breath radiographic evidence of lung infiltration with pneumonia or acute respiratory distress syndromes no alternative diagnosis fully explaining the illness complications the complications may arise the, uh, in uh, in case of this patient this type of patients pulmonary decompensation is the most fear uh, problem patient with acute respiratory dis- distress symptoms um, about 20 to 
patients required intubation and mechanical ventilation. Treatment Severe case required intensive support. In severe case required intensive support, different agents including ribavirin, ribavirin, lopinavir, retonavir. These are the uh, different agents used in uh, this type of patients. Please remember, students, please remember that administration of medication is to be your responsibilities as far as the physician's prescription. Please follow the physician's prescription before administration of any medication. Regarding prognosis, overall mortality rate in case of this type of condition is 14%. Mortality is that is age related that ranging from less than 1% in persons under 24 years of age to greater than 50% in persons over 65 years of age. Regarding control, how to control and uh, prevention of this uh, uh, SARS diseases. So, uh, appropriate detection and protective measures includes for prevention of this type of diseases are prompt identification of persons with SARS, their movements and contact, effective isolation of patients in hospital, appropriate protection of medical staffs treating the SARS patients, comprehensive identification and isolation of suspected cases, maintaining hygienic measures such as hand washing, using mask, exit screening of international travelers, timely and accurate in reporting and sharing of information with other authorities and governments. Uh, students, please uh, try to understand that regarding control and prevention of all categories of communicable diseases are that uh, as uh, in general uh, there are uh, many uh, points related to one uh, each others. So you have to uh, just specify according to the disease conditions and the category of disease and its prognosis, illness, uh, symptoms, everything you have to first try to understand the uh, type of disease and you uh, accordingly you uh, go through for control and prevention, preventive measures. All categories of communicable disease uh, you have to maintain the hygienic measure. Hygienic measures that includes hand washing, using mask, protective equipments, PPE, just mm, and you as well as your protection as well as you, you have to maintain the uh, uh, hygienic condition at your home also. So uh, please remember that for communicable diseases, all categories of communicable diseases, uh, you have to be careful regarding this maintaining hygiene. Okay, thank you very much.